I'm Neville Walsh. I'm the Senior Conservation Botanist at the Royal Botanic Gardens, Victoria. My role at the gardens focuses around threatened species conservation as well as being a traditional botanist involved in the classification and the naming of species generally. Botanic gardens have an important role with conservation of plants. First of all, they're good growers of plants and not only that, we have the capacity to attract public and to inform them about threatened species. We are actively involved in conservation by collecting species, collecting seeds of plants and we store those in the Victorian Conservation Seed Bank located in the National Herbarium of Victoria which is in the Royal Botanic Gardens Melbourne and increasingly we are involved in projects to re-establish threatened species in the wild. Rare species that are available through nurseries obviously take pressure off wild growing members of that species so people are less inclined to go and sample a little piece for themselves and those species should remain protected in the wild. A classic example of this is the Wollamai pine, which was discovered in the 1990s in one tiny little pocket of the Wollamai National Park in New South Wales. Now there's a massive interest in growing conifers throughout the world and this species was very, very much likely to become attractive to people who'd like to collect their own seeds. So there's a massive program to have this plant cultivated en masse through tissue culture so that hundreds and hundreds and thousands of plants are available for people to purchase through nurseries. There's a eucalypt that's suitable for almost all home gardens. A good example of a rare eucalypt that's available in cultivation is the Buxton gum, Eucalyptus crenulata. We know it from only two populations. It's never been known from more than that and it's freely available for cultivation. Very, very attractive tree. Got interesting silvery new growth. By growing something like Eucalyptus crenulata, you're adding to the conservation effort for this species. There are far many more plants of this growing in gardens at the moment than exist in nature. So we've got a massive conservation resource out there in people's backyards. By growing a rare species in your garden, for example, a eucalypt, you not only have a plant of interest, you can play a role in that species conservation for many years to come.